Hey guys, this is Andrew for TrainSenses.com. I've been working as a professional trainer for the past six years in Hong Kong and I've started to do some YouTube videos because guys, I want to share with you all my experience of pro trader. I want to show you guys how we actually work, how we do analysis, uh, what are the market dynamics, who is doing what, you know, uh, what are the professionals doing when the retailers are doing something else, for example. So if you want to know about all the stuff that I know because uh, I'm working in this industry, you are in the right place. Today, I want to make an update on Tesla, which is the big winner of 2020. So let's see if it's still going to be the winner in 2021. Let's get into it. So for those who uh, watched my previous videos, so on Tesla, I, I think I did it like three weeks ago, we were around 8, 10, something like this. And I was saying it's going to go to 1030. But I, I was saying that, you know, I'm, I'm not sure when. And I was saying that uh, you have some support levels uh, lower and that you need to be careful if we break one of those supports. So first, I don't need the earnings. Uh, though the volume is much lower now because the share is more expensive as well. Okay, so we don't care about it. Let me me go to the four hour time frame and let's see what happened on the shorter time frame guys so i did my video and i was saying that i'm uh, very bullish on this stuff so right now we are basically at the same level we went to 900 it got rejected for some reason and now we have this nice uh, channel so i did some updates on my instagram so please follow me if you want to know about this uh, updates that I do uh, there and I said that we are now in this channel after we broke this and we actually I like to have a lot of uh, contacts on my trend lines and when this uh, trend line got broken so actually then there was a rally but then retested rejected we go lower now what is happening guys we are in this channel I knew we were in this channel after I had here one reaction so this is the first one second one so then you don't know third, fourth, and here you know, all right? After this level, you are able to draw this channel and then it acted here again and I'm pretty sure it's gonna act here. We have one more uh, good news uh, at this level. So I was basically saying uh, that I'm a buyer at 750 on my Instagram last week. And this is because uh, there was the 200 period moving average that was coming at this uh, level. And I also have the support level of my channel, which actually has not been touched. All right. I did it, didn't do it perfectly. You can arrange it, you know, the way you want. You know, for example, if I do like this, then it's touched. All right. You need to connect here, here, here and here as good as you can. So actually this one fits better. And once again, you only need four points to make this channel. Actually, three is enough. One, two, three. You can already draw the channel and then see if it uh, acts well on the upside. And then if it does, then probably it's going to act good on the downside as well. So here, guys, uh, I'm a buyer. Once again, if you break this channel, careful, guys. Uh, it's maybe at the time to stop your long position. But most likely, we're going to go higher because we haven't reached uh, my level, which is 1030. So let me go on a longer time frame and quickly show you guys what I did here. So I mixed Elliott Wave uh, principle and uh, Fibonacci, which is what I love to use, guys, when I do some uh, technical analysis, not on penny stocks, you know, on those bigger ones, because they follow this very well. The penny stocks are crazy. You cannot use fibs. The moves are just too insane. So Elliott Wave theory is for those guys who want to know more about it. Actually, I've finished the video, but I... I want to change some of the stuff. So it's like a training on Elliott wave principle. So basically I read the book, which is amazing, which is like uh, very hard guys to actually uh, understand. So I sum up this book. So in the five patterns that you have, and I try so to explain to you guys how actually you can use uh, Elliott wave principle to read the market structure. And here guys, it's a nice five uh, moves up. It's a nice impulse and it's not finished. All right. So I'm not sure I'm correct about this counting. So this is what is tricky with Elliot, but to me, everything fits very well. Once again, uh, click on the link uh, in the description of the video and you're going to receive this free video and almost done, as I said. So very quickly, one, two, three, four, five, and the fifth wave is not finished, guys. Then I use fibs and I measure the preceding wave that was in the same direction. So here it's a motive wave on the upside. So this was this one, I measure it, all right? And I apply the move here, all right? So it depends on how you do. Now I have 1038, last time I had 1030. And then you check the FIB uh, ratio, one point. So let me get rid of the channel, 1.618, guys. This is the golden number. And most of the time, it's reaching it when you have this kind of one, two, three, four, five. Usually the fifth wave is a ratio that is 
finishing with 618 of the preceding wave. So it can be this one, it can also be the next one, 1475. Then we're gonna need to see what is happening on the shorter time frame, just as we are doing right now. I very rarely see moves that are finishing here. It can finish to, those, um, to the 1.618, 600. 600 level would have made sense because this is a golden number ratio. But between this one and this one, no, it doesn't happen. I mean, very, very rarely. I almost never saw that. So right now that we are here, I'm pretty convinced we are going there. I don't know how, but we are going there before breaching some major support levels. But once again, this is not exact science, guys. So please be very careful and use adaptive tools on the shorter time frame to exit your position if it doesn't smell good. So that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to click the sub, like and bell button. So you're going to be the first to know when I do more updates on Tesla, wheat stocks, AMC, CLVS or whatever. And stay close to shore. I'll see you guys.